Hi everyone, this is Grandma Karen coming to you from my farm. Today I have a video about some makeup tricks. Not the typical video for me, I'm usually talking about the animals on the farm or gardening or something along those lines, but I've been struggling with doing makeup for my eyebrows lately. And so I bought a few uh, helpers, a few little hacks to help me get started with uh, doing makeup for my eyebrows. And I thought I would try them out and share them with you guys. And you can comment below and let me know which one you like best, okay? So the first thing, the simplest thing is this pencil. This is just a simple um, eyebrow pencil. And uh, it comes with, first of all, the one end has this little brush so I can brush my eyebrows, brush my hairs up there, get them all nice and untangled. And then the other side has a pencil. Now. I'm sure you've all seen ladies that um, take the time to shave their eyebrows off before they use the pencil. I don't have time to do that today, so you're just gonna have to imagine that I've already shaved my eyebrows off, but we're just gonna see what this looks like. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm just going to kind of follow the shape and make a line. So. Okay, so this is the first one. You can see the before on this side and the after on this side. Okay, the next thing that I got, uh, I'm not really sure what this is called, but it, it looks like this, I envy, and it's got these little stamps on this side. And then when you open it up, let's see here, you can open it up and it's got this uh, powder down in here. Um, since I'm, um, I identify as a blonde. Um, I may have had brunette hair earlier in my lifetime uh, and I may be turning gray now, but like I said, I identify as a blonde. So I went with um, kind of a lighter shade instead of going with a dark, dark brown or a black, I went with um, kind of a medium brown. So I'm gonna take my little uh, stamp here, it's like a rubber stamp and I'm gonna rub it into this powder looks like I've got powder all over it and then I'm gonna hold it up let's see I did the wrong one I'm gonna do the other eye that I haven't done yet so we can compare so uh, so I'm gonna do it again here just rubbing this stamp into the powder it's got a nice handle on it there for me and then I'm gonna hold it up to my eyebrow here and I'm just gonna stamp it on kind of roll it back and forth here so that it gets on evenly okay wow all right so now we can compare <laughs> excuse me thinking about a joke i heard earlier now we can we can compare the pencil with the, the stamp okay so the latest thing i got is really cool this um this is an eyebrow template i think it was made in china as you can see up here and down here not sure exactly what it says probably that it will make me absolutely beautiful so i haven't even opened it up yet but i'm going to open it up and the thing here is that with the one that i just did with the stamp you know it's got one for each eye but sometimes i'm afraid that i might be uneven and how embarrassing would that be to go out with eyebrows that were uneven so that's why i thought this one might be good i'm gonna un unwrap it here because you can hold it up like this over your nose and then you can just it's got these these openings here you can just pencil in where you want um, it to go but you're automatically even here you don't you know you you're automatically even you can just you put this on your nose I'm assuming and then you go like this and then you can just color in Take this pencil that, that we used the first time, only this is gonna be a little more extensive. Instead of just uh, making a single line, like a lot of ladies do, uh, this one I'm gonna just pencil in the whole thing, so like a stencil. So let's see how, and then of course you would do the other side, but since we already have that other one over there, I won't do that. So there you go, there's um, quite a few different ideas here. Um, I hope that gave you some information and helps you to figure out how to do your eyebrows. So you can see a little closer there. I hope this has been helpful. Um, please comment down below which one you like best. And that's the one that I'll be using from now on. 
thanks so much everyone tune in uh soon we'll be doing more videos on hatching chicks and baby goats and all kinds of springtime fun we've got a heifer that's due to have her calf soon so we'll be getting back to normal videos soon but thanks for tuning in today and like i said i hope this was helpful and i appreciate your comments on which one you like below thanks folks bye bye Hi folks, this is Grandma Karen asking you to please like this video and subscribe. For every new subscription to our channel, a chicken gets a new hat. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.